Hello friends, my name is Rudin VS. You are watching me on Techmarize YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss on smartphone screen refresh rate. Every smartphone manufacturer is trying to prove that they have the superior specification compared to the competitor. So the new lollipop they are showing to attack the customers is the smartphone screen refresh rate like 90Hz, 120Hz, etc. So is it really a gimmick or is there any real advantage of having a higher refresh rate in your smartphone? So let's find out in today's video. Without wasting any time, let's start. Before we start, let's establish some physics lesson for this video, like the relationship between screen refresh rate and frames per second. A 60Hz refresh rate screen can show up to 60 frames per second, which is 1 is to 1 ratio. That is, a 120Hz display can show up to 120 frames per second. That means 120 photos are shown in a span of 1 second. So whenever I mention FPS, you can treat it as Hz2. Theoretically, human eye can detect up to 1000 frames per second, but after a point of time will not be able to see any difference even if there is a change in refresh rate. If we go in detail, we will definitely notice a difference between 15 frames per second and 24 frames per second. The old cartoon we used to see is at 15 frames per second and that means 15 hertz. The movies we usually see are 24 frames per second. So we'll see a difference between 15 and 24. The mobile videos you shoot are around 30 frames per second. You can notice a slight change in 24 frames per second to 30 frames per second. Some videos in YouTube is of 60 frames per second. Some smartphones let you shoot at 60 frames per second too. The video at 60 frames per second will feel very smooth compared to 30 frames per second. We will notice a refresh rate change from 60 to 90 and from 90 to 120 also will notice and if we move from 120 to 150 there will be a slight change but after 150 we barely notice any change. There are some gaming monitors with 240Hz of refresh rate but going above that is not so useful. It will not make any difference, you will not see any difference. So since we have established that up to 150 frames per second will feel a difference in refresh rate and above that will not feel much. So the real question is, is it really useful having a high refresh rate screen in your smartphone? The normal smartphone mobile screen is a 60Hz refresh rate screen and phones like OnePlus 70 and Pixel Phone 4 will have a 90Hz display and in Asus Phone 2 they have a 120Hz display. So where exactly you will feel the difference having a higher refresh rate screen? So let's find out. In higher refresh rate phones, when you use the phone and click on some icon and the response time as well as the response animation will be very fast and smooth compared to the normal phones and the people who use it regularly, they really like it. But the real difference will come when you play video games. Because in video games, when you're getting even an extra millisecond to respond to things like firing at enemy or taking a turn while racing, all these things will contribute to the overall gaming performance. So for gamers, these higher refresh rate screens will help for a better response. I would really recommend it for them as it would improve the overall gaming performance. While watching a movie or a video from YouTube, the maximum refresh rate you'll get will depend upon the file you're playing in YouTube or movie. For normal movie, it will be 24 frames per second, so you'll get only 24Hz refresh rate in your screen. In YouTube, some videos are of 60 frames per second, so in that case, you'll get 60Hz screen. So it doesn't matter whether you have a 120Hz screen or 90Hz screen, you'll get only up to 60 frames per second or 60Hz. So for people who's watching a lot of video or movies, it's not going to differentiate between 120Hz or 60Hz screen you have in your smartphone. Since we have all gone through these technical things, if you ask the question, is it really a gimmick or not? I would say it's not a gimmick. But you should not sacrifice a better camera or better chipset to go for a higher refresh screen. If it is coming as an added advantage, you should definitely go for it. That's it friends, thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, please click on that subscribe button. Also click on that bell icon so you will get notified about the latest tech videos whenever I upload. Goodbye, see you on the next video.